So uh, what we have here is the Fan Vote Battle 3 pack, which contains Holo Mirage, Decepticon Impactor, and Power Dasher Arrogant. I actually got it from Amazon a while back um, in this condition, which I'm not too happy about, but anyways. Oh, one thing to <laughs> notice here is that uh, Holo Mirage doesn't look anything like his uh, product image here, but it is what it is. Um, oh. And this is pretty much the packaging. Oh, also it's funny how uh, Power Dasher Aragon is in pieces, so parts of him is here, some there. But yeah, anyways, let's go crack it open. Alright, so there they are. Uh, they come packaged like this, basically using Power Dasher Aragon as a weaponizer. Obviously you can change the configuration, it doesn't have to be this way, but Anyways, it also comes with um, specific instructions uh, for this set, not using or reusing the, you know, individualized uh, instruction. Anyways, let's go look at them up close. So that's Holo Mirage. I have a spotlight on him, so he looks brighter. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, he looks very interesting. And so let's go. As you can see here, um, it doesn't have any paint except for the eyes, which is in yellow. And there's some hexagonal uh, honeycomb-like, uh, it's not, I wouldn't say texture, because you cannot feel it, but, well, at least I can't. But yeah, it, it does have those details. So you may be asking, is there light piping? And yes, there is. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, so... It's pretty neat. Even the wheels are like this. So yeah, almost entirely clear except for some light baby blue parts here and there. So yeah, in, in terms of articulation, you can... I mean, obviously, it should be the same as the the normal version. You, you can spin his head. Uh, you can do that, uh, and then all the way around. You can turn at the bicep, uh, bend at the elbow 90 degrees. The fist can fold in uh, due to transformation, but you can use that as well. Uh, the waist can twist. There is no. Um, ab crunch uh, the legs can go all the way to the side to the front and to the back as you can see the the knees can bend 90 degrees and for the feet uh, it can rock that way pretty good you can tilt up and down uh, with a little bit of um, heel spur at the back there uh, for support and yeah so it comes with a couple weapons, the blaster here and the cannon on the shoulder. Obviously he can hold this on his hand like earlier, but he, he looks like this in the G1, so yeah, we'll keep it in that way. And let's look at the other one. So here's um, Decepticon Impactor, and yeah, he looks pretty neat too. Um, not as unique, but <laughs> you know. Yeah, so... Pretty nice head sculpt there. You know, has some good paint applications here and there, uh, like the yellow and black there. A lot of details on the body here and on the legs. Some paint on the knees. Get some thread details on the side here, and just like. You know, all the siege bots has this kind of wear and tear um, markings. So overall, pretty clean looking. Not a whole huge backpack there. It's a little bit of hollowness on the leg in there, and some in the back there. But obviously, the front is you know the best side of it. Comes with two 
um, weapons. You can put this drill looking thing in, in the hand or you can fold out the hand like this and hold it instead. It comes with this one as well, a bigger blaster. Yeah, and then obviously it has a shoulder cannon as well. That doesn't seem to move. It can do that, but it can't point up and down or sideways. Uh, speaking of which, let's look at articulation here. Uh, the head can turn all the way around. Uh, doesn't go up and down. Um, for the shoulder, it can go all the way to the side. It goes all the way around. You can spin at the bicep, so it's very similar to Mirage here. Uh, bends at the elbow, 90 degrees. Uh, the hand can fold in due to transformation or, you know, for the weapon. Uh, you can spin at the upper torso there. Oh, I thought there was a... Oh yeah, there is some ab crunch here. Maybe that's for transformation, but... Yeah, you can totally use that, so that's pretty neat. Um, legs can go to the side, to the back, and to the front. And you can bend the knees 90 degrees. Uh, the feet um, can fold down for transformation, but you can fold out. It might be for transformation too. <laughs> so, yeah, and, but it doesn't. Well, it kind of folds in too, so you got that much um, uh, flexibility there. But yeah, so that's it for impact. So here's Power Dasher Aragon. Looks pretty neat, mostly red. Oh. Some hollowness in the back here, and especially on the legs. But you can fold the legs in, so that's kind of. <laughs> important but yeah. yeah let's just look up close it's a unique head sculpt for 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 this uh, color scheme some yellow on the wheels there it's, it's silver it does, yeah gun, uh, gun metal gray you could say so brighter silver on the knees there and on the feet Some more silver here and there. Comes with two weapons uh, that you can put there or on the side here. And so you can do that. Obviously, you can take them apart, <laughs> use them for parts. Uh, yeah, so in terms of articulation, uh, it can turn. Uh, the arms can come out at the lower part of the arm there, but then you can turn all the way around because you can unplug it there. It goes more than 90 degrees at the elbow. Um, for the waist, it can turn. There's, it, there's no ab crunch, uh, but the leg can go far out to the side there. It's kind of hindered on the back side here, so you can't go to the back. You can go to the front and bend the knees all the way, almost 180 degrees, so you can fold in the leg, you know, when you being used as a weaponizer. And yeah, so, oh, there's some tilt on the foot there, so that's pretty uh, useful. You can't go up nor down, so not too cool with that respect but yeah so that's power dasher aragon and let's pull in the other guys here so we have um decepticon impactor and holy mirage so that's how they look all together they're fairly similar in size except for impactor that's a little bit taller like a head taller than everyone else and yeah, so that's how they look side by side. Back, if you're interested, <laughs> that's how they look from the from the back. But yeah, so let's do some 
size comparison here with other bots. Starting with another weaponizer, Power Dasher Chroma. So yeah, Slammer. Fast Track. What about some uh, Voyager class? So we have Tarn here. Let's bring in a leader class here, Blitzwing. Yeah. Finally, G1 Optimus Prime. So yeah. So that's it for uh, bot mode. Uh, let's look at the other modes. So here's Holo Mirage, and overall it looks pretty neat. Um, if you go, if you go closer here, and just looking at you know two thirds of it, very sleek looking um, car. But then you get to this point. And it's like this huge massive thing uh, Spoiler well the arms really Which is a shame. There's some hollowness and underneath at the back here if the arms could have fold into that area like that 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 Cavity there then it would have been so much sleeker, but this is what we got um, But from the top it looks pretty good and Yeah, and then obviously in the back here you can see the fake <laughs> Uh, front end of the car that was used for the robot mode. Um, you can mount the weapons on the spoiler here. There's a couple of ports so you can do that. It's even more ridiculous looking. So you could do that so it's even more ridiculous looking. But yeah. So here's Impactor. Looks like a pretty decent looking tank here. So it has some silver paint uh, for, I guess, the wear and tear. Some thread details there. It, it does have rollers, so it can roll pretty well. Well, speaking of which, Mirage can roll pretty well as well. But yeah, so back to Impactor here. So no visible like robot parts here Even below just a little bit of the leg in the crotch, but that's pretty much it You can move the turret up and down and it can spin all the way around to it. So That's pretty cool Yeah, that's pretty much it. So here's power dasher Aragon. They actually split into two vehicles so in terms of play value, it's pretty good since you have that option. Although, admittedly, the one on the right here, as you can see, are just legs <laughs> lying down with some guns on top of it. But it is what it is. Uh, there's a lot of details. So if you look from the side here, you know, you even have what looks like windows on the side there and then a lot of tread uh, details. So yeah. Although here you can see that there's you can see the head just peeping through there uh, underneath and Yeah, also you can combine them Like so So you have a really long Vehicle and it rolls pretty good Pretty smoothly and flat on the ground. So yeah, so that's part of that shirt I got so here they are uh, all together in vehicle mode and they look great and they're pretty different from each other so you have a pretty diverse set of um, types of vehicle here yeah. but at the same time they're similar in sizes so oh speaking of which let's do some size comparison so let's just put them on the side here first up is deluxe knockout so yeah, very similar Voyager Tarn here. Uh, again, it's pretty similar in size with Impactor, but a little bit wider, although different class. Leader class, although without the trailer. Uh, <laughs> Christmas Prime here, so yeah. And finally, G1 Optimus Prime with the fist on the front still. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. 
All right, so that's the fan vote three pack from Transformer Siege, and it's a pretty cool set. Uh, it cost me less to buy them as a pack as opposed to buying the bots individually. Uh, on top of that, you get a pretty unique Mirage in hologram form, and obviously a repaint of Cog uh, there in Aragon. Uh, but yeah. And, and and yeah, since you're getting a weaponizer, there's just there's a lot of play value. Um, uh, as you can see here, I have him attached to Impactor, but obviously you can attach him to uh, Mirage as well. Although it may not make sense because this whole <laughs> Mirage is trying to be invisible here. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't have uh, a lot of faults, but I do wish uh, Mirage to be a little bit brighter or lighter in color. Um, I mean, if you shine, shine some light on it, it's fine. But it lost a lot of the details you can't, you know, tell, um, make out his face that much. I mean, at least his eyes are colored or painted in yellow, so uh, that's a good thing. Uh, but aside from that, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool set, you know, pretty happy. Uh, have gotten it and yeah and, and and I don't need a mirage anymore because I prefer this unique mirage and yeah anyways uh yeah thanks for watching and hope to see you soon again